Temperature fluctuations cause a change in the frequency of molecular collisions and the rate of most chemical reactions, including corrosion of steel, zinc, and other metals. A direct relationship exists between changes in temperature and changes in corrosion current. When corrosion of reinforcing steel or a zinc anode increases, there is a corresponding increase in current discharge. This results in an increased consumption rate of the zinc anode and a decreased service life. This will be illustrated with a thermometer, an amp meter, and a graph showing the correlation between the temperature and current. We demonstrate the remaining service life of the anode with this battery life indicator. Below is a galvanic anode installed in a concrete repair. At an operating temperature of 10 to 15 degrees Celsius or 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, it will discharge at a nominal rate. As we increase the temperature of the environment by 10 degrees Celsius or 18 degrees Fahrenheit, the current discharge from the anode doubles. Much like a battery, the increased draw will consume the anode in half the time. If we swing the temperature 10 degrees Celsius in the opposite direction, we find that the current discharge is half the nominal rate. Vector Corrosion Technologies anode spacing tables are designed to achieve a specific level of protection for 20 years in environments with average annual temperatures of 10 to 15 degrees Celsius or 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. If the average annual temperature of the environment exceeds 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the engineer should consider an X version of the anode, which is specifically designed to achieve a 20-year service life at elevated temperatures.